Hi, I've been doing film photography since I was about six or seven and it's fascinating how popular film photography has become again. When digital came out in about the year 2000, people were quickly ditching their film cameras and everything went digital and you could buy a bargain Hasselblad for about £300. Unfortunately, I didn't, um, but I did buy lots of other cameras and I have always kept to using film cameras. I like digital cameras and use them all the time. However, film gives you a unique look and it's fascinating to think that you can actually understand the process as well and you can get some wonderful images by with film. Now 35mm is probably the most convenient and a cheap way into film however when you come to printing there is a sharp difference between 35mm and what we call medium format. Medium format gives you a far higher quality now, if you want to get into medium format film, there's different types of camera. I mentioned in a previous vlog using a folding cameras, a uh, camera, a fold, folding cameras were very popular from about 1900 until about 1955 and <coughs> all sorts were produced, some cheap ones. This is a very good quality, uh, Iconta. However, they are getting elderly now. The same can be said for the twin lens reflex. Again, I will cover this in another vlog. A twin lens reflex were made popular by Ray Reflex. You look down one lens and the picture takes with the second lens, but you have excellent focusing and they produce very high quality images. In the 50s, Hasselbaut bought out um, a single lens. Um, 120 camera and other manufacturers began to look at producing single lens reflex cameras that took 120. Bronica, a Japanese company and I believe Bronica is Japanese for brownie and 120 film because it was originally used in Kodak cameras um, that apparently is where the name comes from. Might not be true but that's what I've been led to believe. Well Bronica brought out the first ETR camera in I think about 1972 and they later brought out this lovely ETRS. The S was a second model of the ETR, slightly refined model. The first models had focal plane shutters. This has not got a focal, this has a leaf shutter. The shutter speeds go from, from my memory, the slowest is bulb and one second. Oh no, actually it goes down to eight seconds. And the top speed, because it's a leaf shutter, the top speed is one um, five hundredth of a second. The lens is a gorgeous lens um, and it's a 2.875 um, mil. The lenses are interchangeable, the backs are interchangeable, they do take a battery. You get 16 images on this camera and the images are um, six centimeters by four and a half. Um, I would take the back off but it's got a film in because it's a working camera. Um, to use you simply wind on and that releases the mirror. You focus accordingly and you set the aperture just here. It has no meter so you do need a separate meter um, or experience to um, set your to determine your aperture and your shutter speed but you once you've set your aperture and your shutter speed the shutter is down there. So it's a simple case of shutter speed, aperture, click and as you wind it will set the shutter for the next photograph. They are great cameras to use. Obviously you would use it like this. You look down and through there. 
you can get different viewfinders you can get a prism so you can use it up to the eye it somehow i think fits into the hand incredibly well like this the price of these have varied enormously over the last few years they were for a long time hovering on ebay for about 170 200 pounds at the moment i've just looked now and they are on ebay for 350 to 400 pounds the price does vary you if you're looking to get into medium format you need to find the right camera they can occasionally have problems with shutters um, so it's best to handle one i think before buying it or buy it from a source that is trustworthy and you know that you can return it if there is a problem um, i think the later ones are slightly more reliable but the body on the earlier ones is slightly heavier um, a really good rate into medium format economic as you get 16 frames you don't get that square look through though you might want to look at an alternative to the Mamiya but I personally and I've used these a lot I found them to be extremely sharp extremely reliable I've used them with A-level students a lot and I've never had a issue with them breaking with a student so they if they can survive students they are extremely good cameras the best thing is they produce crisp excellent photographs in my book they are a really good buy